They ain't never did this before. This is my first time doing a podcast. For real? Oh, but I'm like a real rapper. Like, I do rap. You do? Yeah, that's all I do. You got a peso peso verse and a no jumper interview. You're basically a rapper. Yeah, I did that a long time ago. I, I got know, more than peso saying. peso. I got Rio. <laughs> I got Lil Bino. It was just funny seeing peso peso in uh, the gardens and you dissing all kinds of people. You don't know what the f- you're talking about. He's just rapping about regular Texas shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga funny though That nigga Oh god When I seen that nigga First I hit him up Like about the verse But he like I'm like you gotta pull up though. He's like uh-huh. Alright I'm like I'll pay you extra You pull up So he pull up I bang on him I'm like y'all from Bonnie He's like Oh you from the Knicks I'm like yeah He said man Why you didn't tell me I would've never charged you that much I'm like nah it's good Did he so, know where he was pulling up to Yeah no, nah, he know about the You okay. know the niggas from Bonnie Right I'm blessed. He know about that <laughs> shit That nigga didn't say the Knicks That nigga said the hood Uh huh um, blood. That nigga said, "You, you, I go." You know, I'm like, "Yeah, come on." He said, "Give me three racks. I charge niggas fifteen. I'm like, "It's boo." Well, what is he? You know. Who did he pull up with? A bunch of people. Or? He pulled up with his uh, manager, my nigga J Bo, my nigga Check Boy Stacks, the regular sauce niggas. Okay. Yeah, you know, I grew up in Texas, so. Like, did you really? Yeah, in Dallas. Till what age? Till like fifteen. I oh, got from like eight. No, I first I moved to Louisiana. Then I moved to Dallas at like when Katrina happened, oh five. So when I was eight, really. So I was fifteen, like seven years. Okay, and then you moved to Dallas, and no, I li- I moved to Dallas when oh, Katrina okay. happened, and I right. came back to LA when I was fifteen. Okay, I ran away from home. That's what I was, we gonna get it. And you're fifteen, and you move where in LA? You know what? That was whose idea? Your parents were like. No. There's a great cultural <laughs> center over here named Nickerson no. Gardens, and this, this is where he's going to become he the looked. next great American no, scientist or some shit. No, I was. Or like, did they just kind of end up there through? No, my okay. mom and them from the hood. My oh, so granny, originally everybody there. from the hood. Oh, okay. Like my whole family is from the hood. I lived in the hood first. My mama lived out of town. My my nana went to the pen. She moved out of town like uh-huh. in the nineties. Mm-hmm. Oh God, but you know she gave me away when I was born. So I was with my granny out here in the, in the projects. Uh-huh. And then, like, she had, like, took me back. Oh, God, I didn't even know I was going back. I didn't know that was my mama. Oh, God, I just went out there. She's like, oh, you got a little brother. You going to go visit. I'm like, all right. They're like a week. I was like five or something, six. And then I just remember I never went back. Mm. And then so when I got old enough, I just jumped on the plane and came back myself. Right. You just love it out there from a young age? What do you mean? On Watts? That's where I'm from. I know, but like, like all my cousins. But you, I'm, you're saying that the first bit of freedom you got, you just flew back because you just love being around there so much. There's people from there. My, my granny, my baba, my baba not from there, but my aunties, my cousins, all of them. Like, oh, how does this different? Like, we all family in the projects. Right. I got a hundred cousins. Type shit. We all family relatives. But you've you know, got the projects. You, a lot of our people come from the south. Not to cut you off. Though. Right. Yeah. A lot of our people come down. You know, from the south. Like a lot of our older family was originally from mm-hmm. the South and just came down here. So, so she went back. When my so nana went to the jail, she was on Freeway Rick and them. She went to jail to the feds in like 90 or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, my mama went back. So uh, when well, she went out there to, I think, Shreveport. That's where she be at, Shreveport. Okay. And all my brother daddies, they all from Shreveport. Like she went to school with Bebe. You know the nigga from the A Bay song, the DJ nigga? You probably don't know I who don't, that is. I don't, but sounds yeah. familiar. Sounds like something yeah, I heard other people talk about. Them, so. I went out there with her when I was like five. Boom. And then Katrina happened and Hurricane Rita and Louisiana was trash. We went to Texas. <laughs> so you, you have a vantage point of what it's like to live in a bunch of different parts of America, but you... You haven't you, listened to my music, huh? I listen to it. Does it sound like a bunch of different places? You sound like a Detroit rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nigga. What's that about? <laughs> no, because my first engineer that and my first producer, he from Detroit. He's from Seven Mile. I knew it. I'm like, this dude don't sound like he's <laughs> so he was, from L.A. He was at all. The bus stop. He's okay. like, man, you got to talk this. But we grew up in L.A. We grew up off Cash Kid, Pablo Skywalking. Mm. Before niggas was on that shit, we was, I feel blessed in these truths, that, you know, all that shit. So we was on that. And that's kind of, it sound like us. Watts is like a fast city. Mm. And, you know, we just made our own Watts sound. I wasn't doing so that. So when people call you an L.A. rapper, how does that feel? You get offended? I'm from Los Angeles and Watts. Uh-huh. We ain't from L.A. Can we talk about... You being a little bit upset in my DMs because of me and other people mispronouncing your name. Yeah, bro, that's trash. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say your name correctly on this show. I think every single time I heard Daisy Kane, and then you showed up in my DMs like, it's not Daisy, it's, you said. Dazzy. Dazzy. So where did that come from? 
from Hagen Dazs. That's why I was gonna say, you are a white man. You should know Hagen Dazs, nigga. Oh, I know my way around <laughs> the pint. What the fuck is he talking about? You this should know Hagen Dazs. I'm the pint man right here. Hagen Dazs. Yeah. Dazs Angeles. The ice cream man. That's me. Hagen Dazs. Dazzy. Like, if we was doing drip sauce, we all be drippy, but I don't do that. I'm Dazzin'. So it's Dazzy. Kane. Okay. You get it? Kinda. Hagen Dazs. So what came first? The fact that you like ice cream or. It ain't even ice cream. At first, I had a song called Scoop a long time ago. Okay. Me and my cousin, because we just was on our own shit. You know, Sauce Wall, I'm from Texas. Mm-hmm. So, like, we be on some, like, different type of swag shit. So, like, nigga just didn't want to be doing what Sauce Walker was doing. He made that Holy Sauce album, like, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Trill saying me, Future All. I'm not on there talking about drip. I'm Dawson. But we had the scoop first. My cousin Musa, that's my uncle's son. He got killed by the police. He had said in the freestyle, some something, something, nigga, check the scoop. And I'm like, man, we on that. So we was doing the scoop and like a scoop of ice cream. I was rapping one day with my cousin Superstar. He'd be pimping super hard. Blood. He, um, I'm like, I'm <laughs> Look right at you. <laughs> nah, he told me to say that. Oh, right. okay. He made, he said, make all sure right, to I'm, tell I'm everybody sure. Superstar is the biggest <laughs> pimp in the world. I'm like, all right, I got you, Pete. Two uh, boys don't get into Dazzy. All right, but anyway, but, but, <laughs> but so I'm rapping. I mean, we talking shit. He like, yeah, nigga, you ain't got no bitches. I'm like, you ain't got no scoop, nigga. You ain't got no Hawking Daz. And it hit, mm. boom, right there. And I just been. Dazzing ever since. So like, you, you you chopped the hogging off the front? Yeah. Because it just sounds cooler to say we dazzing. I like it, man. Like, I'm dripping. Bitch, I'm dazzing. I like appreciate a rapper who takes the sauce serious. Because that's that's what you got, really. Yeah. It's all about, like, how you make this shit look to the people, the words, the yeah. the dress, the everything, man. It's crazy because, like, a rapper could really lose their career over, like, one bad look. Yeah. That's why all these big, big rappers don't do interviews. Yeah. Because they know they could very easily look like a goofy, and that could be the end of a of an empire. Yeah, these niggas is crazy though. Niggas be big rappers and shit. They be hard, but a lot of these niggas don't have longevity. See, mm. like the thing I got that these rappers don't got is I got a million different sounds. Mm-hmm. I can make a million different songs. I can get in there and we can do R and B. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a great artist. I don't think I heard the R and B stuff. It's just the... you're not gonna get it yet. Oh, it's not out yet. No, mm. it's not. Out yet. Okay, so what's life like once you move back to Watts? How did you proceed with your thugging at that point in your life? I met this nigga. Oh, and, okay, now int- introduce us. Huh? Introduce us. Nigga Lose 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 Gotti, right? man. Okay. He introduced yeah, himself. <laughs> yeah, but oh God. Lose Gotti, man. Take your bitch to Pound Town. Mr. Pound Town. Oh, shit. Pound Town. Okay, but so. Yeah, this the is original old, uh, Pound Town. You guys meet up? What, the booty hole wasn't brown at that time? Hey, don't say that. We yeah. from Banya. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, um, Bonnie, you don't do I heard about set that. like that. Sorry, we, sorry. Man, don't, we, don't, sorry. We, don't, we don't condone that, gang. Okay, sorry. Accident. Sexy red lyric. Let the record reflect. And we ain't talking about her. We talking about Lil's Gotti. Much yeah, respect. We're talking about the yeah. real pound. All the blood, all over Luka. the world. Much respect. Yeah. I was gonna ask about that because that is, that's a foul, gang insult. Yeah, it is. Just sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. We didn't make that. Out. We ain't talking about that though. Okay. On bees. Yeah. But um, yeah. That's off them. 